Hello, everyone. I have a lot of packages. <laughs> so welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, we're doing another figure unboxing today. Actually, kind of two unboxings in one video, but they're both kind of related, so it's gonna be fine. Um, basically, January is apparently the month of uh, Zelda figures. I know I said, I know I said, last time I did a figure review, it was Ryuji. I said the next one would be Haru in um, January. That one's actually coming out in um, June. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm not perfect, I'm sorry. I make the human a mistake and it is um, unacceptable, I know. I'm still really excited about today's video though because we got some good stuff here. Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just jump into it. You know? So, my first box here is from a little place called Plaza Japan. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're a pretty good figure retailer. And basically inside the box is a Japanese newspaper and it's, it's, it's this, it's, it's this, it's, it's, it's Zelda. It's Zelda. So what we're gonna do is um, we are going to open it because that's what we do in these kind of videos <laughs> and uh just take a look because this is a really really cool figure as you might remember there was a link one i did a video on a few years ago it was a terrible video but it's a good figure if you can see it there here let's do it on the up close cam see look it's a it's a nice figure <laughs> but um the video is kind of terrible so don't watch it watch this one because it's going to be good oh! um we <laughs> We also have the other figure to uh, look at too, which comes in a much bigger box. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's a, it's a much bigger box. So this one comes courtesy of uh, the um, Big Bad Toy Story. I, I believe that's what you call it. But anyway, it's um, pretty humongous. I don't know if you can see what is inside there, but this is, this is um, it's, the Zelda first four figures uh, statue thingamabobber. And um, it's pretty cool. So bas basically, I'm saying basically a lot in this video. Um, these are the topics of the day, my friends. These are the topics of the day. So I think we are going to start with um, the first four figures Zelda statue because um it's bigger and we got to get that out of the way first so i can't open this one on the small cam because the small cam is small i thought ahead for this box at the very least because it came in like um a few days ago actually whereas the other one just came in like today <laughs> uh so no scissors required i don't have scissors for the other one though so that might be a problem but we'll cross that bridge when we when we come to it. I'm throwing a lot of boxes today, aren't I? This is probably pretty hectic, right? Wow. <laughs> um, here it is. <laughs> so this statue is definitely, um, it's definitely a statue. I mean, like, that looks like a statue, right? But it, it, I can tell it's very high quality. I'm just holding it. Um, I, compared to the other one here, the Link one, it has a lot more, like, weight to the base. That's, like, the first thing I notice. So I probably should mention, uh, that this is the, like, standard edition of this figure. I believe there also is not a uh, deluxe edition that has, like, a, is it a light-up base, I think? Like, I think you push the Sheikah Slate and then there will be, like, a light-up base on it. This is not that one. At least I don't think it is. It looks amazing next to the Link one. Just, like... They look really good. I can probably like bring the Link one over here so I have a better comparison, but they look really nice together. Yes, it's still focusing on me. There, there, there it is. Yes. So yeah, I'm sure I'm showing you all kinds of different close-ups and video shots right now through the magic of editing, but this is a really nice figure. Um, I mean, have you ever had a bad first four figures figure? I mean, I haven't. I only have two, but <laughs> both of them are real, real nice. Um, 
if you're a fan of Breath of the Wild and you like Zelda, like the character, then I would say this one is kind of a no-brainer. Like, it's just a really nice piece to display. I mean, it's not really good for, like, posing, because it's a statue, but um, it is a very nice piece to display. And I would recommend to a Zelda collector, like me. Anyway, there's a quick look at the Zelda statue. That one's a little less in-depth because it's a statue. Not as much to talk about as with the figure, which is what we're getting into right now. So, Breath of the Wild. Oh, well, um, Zelda Breath of the Wild version, I believe. It just says version. So, this one is number 1212 of the Nundaroid line, and it is Zelda. It, um, is Zelda. She comes with a lot of accessories, actually. Uh, the frog from that one cutscene that was funny, funny. Um, the Master Sword, which actually is a compliment to the Link figure, which is awesome. I love it when they do that. Also, the entire, like, Royal Stallion, or whatever the horse's name is from Breath of the Wild is, um, in here as well. So, yeah, we're just gonna open it up because I can't be bothered to meticulously think of every single accessory that is actually in here. There we are. Here we are. I don't know if I don't know if you guys noticed, but I just saw this and it made me happy. They used this screenshot for the background of the box. I don't can you see it? I don't know. It's it's in there. It's the screenshot. It was like promotional for Breath of the Wild. I remember looking at it all the time before the game had actually come out, so it has just like special. It somehow got back a memory. So the figure is a free from the prison. And uh, yeah, it looks like I was actually kind of spot on with the accessories, except for the Sheikah Slate, which I actually didn't even mention, even though it was right in the front of the box. But yes, Zelda will come with the Master Sword, the Frog, the Sheikah Slate, the Royal Stallion, two faces, two arms, well, actually four arms, because you know, um, those are the two extra arms. We're talking about accessories. That doesn't count because it's actually on the figure. Anyway, saddle for the <laughs> Royal Stallion and a whole lot of um, pieces for a stand and a hand, just a hand. Stuff is flying everywhere. Except not really, it just kind of like flied on the tray. First thing I see is this Master Sword and it is glorious. Like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm showing you guys close-ups right now, but like it, it's see-through and it just looks absolutely incredible. Like, I never knew I needed a see-through Master Sword accessory for a, a Nendoroid, but now, I know that I, I needed that. I really needed this <laughs> in my life, apparently. Next thing I have wiggling about here is the Sheikah Slate, and I believe it is an exact copy of the mold that we had for um, the Link figure. I'm actually, I'm sure you guys can tell right now. I'm gonna set them next to each other. One of the most exciting accessories though, of course, is the frog. It's literally, I can have a Nendoroid froggy figure now. Now I just need to big the cat one. Get on that, Nendoroid. <laughs> but, um, it's a frog. It looks like a frog, literally, from the game. It's not that hard to look like a frog, but it looks like a frog, guys. Wow. Okay, so, um, that went flying. <laughs> so, the pieces that went to flying, we have a extra joint. And, um, uh, that was a saddle flew over the, all the way over there. We'll look at that in a minute. First, let's get to the stallion. Okay, so the stallion came like enwrapped in this prison of plastic, which I'm having trouble getting off. Well, I just took off a leg. <laughs> this is, this is not good. I'll be back in a minute with the plastic off. Oh, okay, so it's not that bad. Actually, um, you need to take off the legs to get the plastic off. But this is the stallion. Um, without legs, let's start putting them back on. 
uh, this is really, really nice horse. Like, I know in the past, I have not been the biggest fan of, oh, that's a bad thing. The biggest fan of uh, the, the horses in things. You know what I'm talking about. The horses in the Nendoroid figures. But, like, this is a pretty darn nice one. I remember I, I have the Elise figure. I did a video on it, too. That was the first video I did on Nendoroid. Don't go watch that one. And, um, basically, they always look very bland. Like, Epona, which I don't even know if it's supposed to be Epona, but the one for Breath of the Wild Link, eh. The one for Elise, even, eh. But this one, the Royal Stallion, I mean, it lost a leg, but, like, look, this is actually a pretty nice horse. So next is the saddle piece here that flew away earlier. Um, but that actually also has a bit of overlap with the stallion because it's a saddle. So basically this saddle piece in particular is just to pop out the other one and then replace it with this one, which will allow you to put a figure on it. Okay, so that brings us to the actual figure and its interchangeable parts, which uh, we will resurrect from the Shrine of Resurrection and uh, get the plastic off Zelda. She literally has a veil of plastic over her face. I don't know why it's so funny to me when these figures come out of their packaging and they have plastic on them. Haha, -ha, plastic equal funny. <laughs> okay, so first thing I need to figure out is where you take off her hair. <laughs> Uh, to interswap the faces because usually there is a clear gap where that would happen but I'm not seeing it with this figure because it's hidden so dang well um, but yeah so you just take off her braids in the front I guess and plastic free I mean yes awesome uh, so if we just disconnect her entire waist then we can free her of the second bit of plastic that is also awesome. Okay, plastic. Stop! You're ruining the earth! You- Garbage! Okay, first impression of the figure. Love it. <laughs> like, literally, I love this figure. It looks so cute. It's really nice and cute and cool. And then it also is pretty sturdy, which is something I usually have a problem with in Nendoroids. Like, a lot of times my Nendoroids, like, the waist is falling off like it is with, um, Link, wherever the heck he is. If I just shake him a little bit, ah! there goes his waist. <laughs> um, but with this one, it's sturdy. Like, uh, I don't, a lot of times it's also just like, what individual figure you get, just like, they're made differently and all that. But like, this one is very good. This is a good figure. It is holding up very well very sturdy and it looks really cute it's really good i'm impressed um so let's go into a little bit more detail on the on the close cam the small cam that's what i've been calling it yes to that so as i already said uh on the main cam this is a really nice figure like i am very impressed by how sturdy it is it's a really good build and um it just looks great like it looks like Zelda. What else do you need? I mean, yeah. Uh, while Nendoroids are usually not known for being very flexible in their posing, um, it is pretty good, like, on this figure. Like, she has pretty good leg movement, like, a lot more than I'd usually see with something like uh, the Link figure, where, if you look at his, it's more disjointed and all that but this one is very smooth and it just feels like it's yeah it's great of course we have the bent arm where we can have uh, a little more of an in close uh kind of look for the arm to seem closer to the body yes sentence um and that would look like this basically so yes now, hand-wise, it's a little weird because we have this one where it's like halfway, um, halfway open hand, I guess, which, yes, <laughs> um, and then this one where it's all the way open hand, which is, um, uh, the extra hand that comes outside of the other two arms 
mostly, I believe, for the frog. I mean, unless this one's for the frog. They seem very similar. Let's take another look here. But these two seem pretty darn similar. Like, that's probably the one place that I'd say this figure is um, losing the most points in right now. Just, like, not having very good hand selections. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't even have hands. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's not too big of a problem, I guess. Pairing Zelda with the Stallion, she seems to sit on it pretty darn well. Um, it really does help actually using the saddle that was intended for that. And then the final thing to really look at here is the faces, um, which she comes with a full smile, a partial smile, and a angry Zelda. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, we can take a look at how those look actually on her build, and um, we see that they look pretty nice. I mean, they go with the rest of the figure. I don't really know what else to say. I am... I high marks. High marks for this figure. I'm rather impressed with this figure. I would definitely recommend it if you're a Zelda fan. Like, I'd recommend it more over the Link one. Just because of how sturdy, well-built it is. I mean, Zelda's cuter than Link, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, and, yeah. You know, I'm I'm just very satisfied with it. I think it's a really good figure. It's gonna be on my shelf, right next to this Bozo, who doesn't have a waist. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. These are two amazing products right here. Good Zelda figures. Good month of January for Zelda figures. Let's go. Yeah. Um. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, because nobody seems to want to do that nowadays. Or, like, ever. All around me are familiar faces. But anyway, um, yeah. I enjoyed making the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And... Like, comment, subscribe. You're really cool. Have a great day. And I need to end this video before the camera battery dies, so. I'll see you later. More figures. Persona, still coming at some point. But yes, bye-bye.